Do you have a spot in your home that's just been driving you crazy all week? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I've tackled my fridge, which has been my pain point, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm Lindsay with Organized to Save, and I'm here to help you get organized and be more productive with budget-friendly tips. Now I've done a whole fridge organizing video in the past, which I will leave a link down below. But as we all know, life gets a little crazy sometimes. Sometimes our space reflects it. Now the fridge was not terrible by any means, but I had a lot of expired things in there and it really just needed a good wipe down because honestly, I don't know the last time that happened. Now, if you have a spot in your home that's been driving you nuts as well, I would love to encourage you to organize and clean along with me during this video. The first thing you need to do when you're tackling in space is to have a clear space to begin with. Cleared everything off the counters and made sure that I had a clean countertop space so that way I could empty the fridge of all of its contents. Because like I said, it's been a very long time since I actually cleaned out this fridge, so I took every single thing out. <laughs> Once I had everything cleared out, I went ahead and wiped down all the shelves. Now I'm just using my Norex cloth, which only calls for water, so it was completely safe using it in my fridge. And I love this because it's so easy to wipe everything off, and you can see really how gross these shelves actually were. I also went ahead and made sure I cleared out all the containers on the drawers because that's where I keep a lot of my sauces and condiments and that kind of stuff, and those tend to leak quite a bit, especially syrup. I had quite a bit of stuck on syrup that I needed to get out as well. Now I've been using this current system in our fridge for several months and it's been working out amazing for us. So I didn't actually adjust any of the shelves or anything like that because I liked where I was generally keeping things. I just needed to clean it up a little bit. Now, as you can see, everything was out on the countertop so that way I could actually evaluate what I had declutter things that were old, spoiled, expired. And unfortunately, I had quite a bit of different produce things that we just didn't get to in time, but this allowed me the opportunity to only put back things in the fridge that I know we're actually eating and using. Now a great hack for you, I've shared this in the past, but I really do love storing all of like my fresh herbs and green onions in mason jars with water because it does actually keep things fresh for quite a while longer. The thing is you just have to make sure that you're constantly changing out the water. I just went ahead and refreshed all of these herbs and then these green onions, I had a lot of green onions for some reason. I kept getting them in my Misfits box. I just kept one bunch of them and then ended up chopping up the rest of the green onions to throw in my freezer so that way I could easily pull them out if I need green onions for a recipe. If you're liking this video so far, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed down below so you don't miss any future organizing videos. Now these teal baskets, I absolutely love these. I found these at the Dollar Tree when I first initiated this system, but the Dollar Tree has such a great selection of very inexpensive organizing baskets. You can get colorful ones like I did, or if you're somebody that needs to see it more visually, you can get a clear basket, like just a simple shoebox container, and that would work great for you as well because then you can see everything inside that basket. Another little hack for your produce drawer is to put a couple sheets of paper towel down in the bottom of the produce drawer. That will help soak up any excess moisture in the drawer. Now, as you can see, I have all of my drawers actually labeled. These labels I made with my Cricut machine. You don't have to do anything fancy like that, but I really do find that it helps our family know where everything actually is supposed to go. So if we know we want to get cheese, we can simply go to the cheese drawer. I also put the labels even on the side of the fridge so that way we know where like the eggs go, beverages, etc. Now don't forget to check the expiration dates. You're going to want to make sure to check all of your condiments, your dressings, everything like that. We had quite a few things that we were not using and had been expired, so I went ahead and got rid of those things. I actually have a lot more room in my door storage now, just because I got rid of a bunch of stuff that we weren't using and that was expired. 
This little beverage caddy was again from the Dollar Tree. I'm a huge Dollar Tree fan. I love going there for all of my organizing product needs. Let me know down in the comments if you are a Dollar Tree fan as well. But I love how this can stack all my sparkling waters and it's super easy to access now. I've been into eating a lot more salads lately for lunch, so I simply made one of my shelves dedicated to salads. If you know that it's something that you're constantly gonna be having a large stock of, make a space for it in your fridge. Okay, so let's remember what this fridge looked like before. And now let's check out the after. As you can see, I did not change my system, but everything is so much cleaner and so much easier to access. I know exactly where everything is because again, I have those labels that I already established, but utilizing all of those Dollar Tree bins really helps keep this generally tidy. A little hack for you in your meat drawer, put all of your meat in a separate bin. So that way, if you do have any spills, you can easily just take out the bin and wipe that out rather than it leaking over the entire drawer. And you can also see that now we have an entire shelf that is cleared. This entire shelf is now just dedicated to all of our leftovers. Previously, I had overflow stuff up there, so I cleared that all out. And now that I made sure everything had its own little spot, I have an entire shelf empty in my fridge. Now, if you want a more in-depth look at how I set up this initial system, make sure to check out the video on your screen right now, and we'll see you over there.